hurling kick, driving Shaky back to his own 22, takes it there, stays on his feet, makes one tackler miss across the 30. 35, 40, here comes Shaky, 45, 50, 45, 40, one man to beat, it's the kicker. 35, 30, cuts back to the inside, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, stop at the two-yard line. Shaky Smithson, how do you do? That's Bill Riley on the call. Got to be fun calling games when Shaky Smithson is doing his thing. Shaky leads the nation right now in punt return yards, even though most teams don't even kick the ball to him anymore in his last four games. He's just, he has just three returns. Now, Shaky has also been in the spotlight for legally adopting his teenage brother, removing him from the dangers of inner city Baltimore. What's happened in the years since? Well, you just have to see it to believe it. Sammy Linebaugh has a story, including the moment Rice Eccles Stadium became hallowed ground for both brothers. Smithson from his own 22. Just kind of stopped. Now he's going to change direction. If ever a childhood nickname suited a player, Smithson needs one more block and he's gone. Shaky certainly fits the league's number one punt returner. The 10 to 5 touchdown Utes. That's the most exciting thing to me in football, you know, just, you know, winning that one-on-one -on -one battle with somebody and just, you know, shaking them, running them over any way, you know, just to get around them and hearing the crowd just, you know, roar, just uh, shout your name is, is just amazing, you know, for them to do that. There is one voice he hears above all, little brother Anthony with his own nickname, Fish. The two share an apartment near the Utah campus. The younger Smithson attends Salt Lake City's Highland High. This is what I gotta put up with right here. <laughs> 4.0. Yeah. Easy for me. It's not that many people that would have the like college players that would have a role just to take their 16-year-old brother out of another state and move him across the country and take care of him on his own just by himself. Four brothers got four balls. That's out of four in the hole. Bonded by a love for football, neither could have dreamed what the 2010 season had in store. Shaky has become must-see TV and SI.com mid-season All-America punt returner. Shaky back-to-back -back weeks, touchdowns on punt returns. Fish earned his team's starting QB job as a junior. And it wasn't just Shaky who came out for his games. Just being so close to Shaky, you get close to Fish, and like every week you got people coming out and going to the games and supporting them. I didn't invite any of them. They uh, called me on their own, be like, Shaky, where your brother playing at today? Um, I'm coming out there. Does that make you nervous? No, I don't think it makes me nervous. I'm just saying, like, it just, like, get me excited because I know that people will support me. That support would cut a path right back to the Utes' home turf. Smith's into the five, and he will score. Touchdown, Highland. Right here. Eccles Stadium. It's a tie ball game, 17 all in the fourth quarter, but it's not Shaky Smith and his playing. It's his younger brother, Fish, who has helped lead his high school team to the Utah 4A state championship. Unfortunately, Shaky can't even be here. He's in San Diego preparing to take on the Aztecs. He was probably more nervous than Fish. <laughs> From a San Diego hotel, Shaky and his Utes held their breath, getting updates any way they could. We had, I think, four phones going. It was a live stream, but the stream kept on short out in each of our phones so we had four phones and we had an iPad. Smith's in the throw pressure coming throws near side buck off four makes the catch and he is in touchdown Highland in a double overtime shootout the Highland Rams won 37 to 36 the school's first state championship since 1986 Fish had a career night. What was it like to play in a game like this? Oh, I mean, it's a great game. You know, it's a high. I mean, there's a lot of people here. It's great to play on the Utah Stadium. It's a big stage, and we got the win. He's ice cold. He doesn't get too high. He doesn't get too low. He's just he's the type of quarterback you want. He's the type of competitor and player that you want. By cell phone, the Smithson brother shared the moment. I was crying. You know, I was very emotional. You know, once I uh, found out he really won the game, my teammates was right there. I had him on speakerphone, and um. You know, he was just saying, go get that W. Go get that win. Oh! 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 
can see my phone. I, uh, I Those two are, are they're the thickest thieves, and, and you look at it, and that's how brothers should be. We talk about it on the football field, but, but those two live it every day. Jake, he was, uh, he was on cloud nine. You know, it was a, it was a big moment for him, and you know, him, him and his uh, brother are very close, and uh, it was a... Uh, you know, Shaky, you could just tell how proud he was. It was a great day, you know, just to, you know, be a big brother and, you know, just to realize that everything that's going on paying off for him and for myself. The youths went out and got that win against San Diego State. Lindley trying to break it here. He goes deep downfield, looking for Sampson. It is intercepted. Setting up the battle with rival BYU and what will be Shaky's final game in Rice Eccles Stadium. Very emotional. Um, it's going to be all I got. Uh, as soon as the ball, the ball, I mean, as soon as they kick the ball off, it's all I got. Uh, this game is going to be real, real big for the community and for myself, you know, just to get a chance to play BYU my senior year at home at Rice Eccles. Can't script it better than that. Especially considering the rest of the story. <laughs> In Salt Lake City, Sammy Leinbaugh for the Mountain. Thanks so much, Sammy. Ted, that, what a great story. And, and, and Shaky Smithson, what a great guy. What can you say? 4.0 GPA, run the option like that? We need to call Troy Calhoun. Get Air Force on that guy. Get him on the recruiting <laughs> script there, huh? No, absolutely. I, you know, and now, nowadays it just seems like the focus is so much on the bad of, of athletes and you hear this and that. But for a guy with that kind of character to step up and do what he's done for his younger brother, I mean, that to me is what college athletics is all about and the type of young man that we want representing, you know, our institutions across the NCAA.